then I just didn't even talk to him because I just saw him there and I, I didn't know what to say. I went, I, it was like I, I loved them so much that for once I couldn't even. Where do you start? Same with like Neil Young. Yeah. Like I, I meet him multiple times just for a second, but like, how's he gonna know? Yeah. How can you? How can you hold his attention? You know. So you didn't say anything to Neil either. No, I've said things to Neil mo- many every time. You said things to him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you guys talking to each other. He's kind of a, got an odd frequency, too. Yeah, I listened yeah. to your show. Yeah, that's, that's something, man. I didn't know how that was going to go. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I've gotten a couple a couple funny interactions with him. Yeah? Yeah. What happened? Well, the one time I met him, the first time was just cool. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll blow through that. Yeah. But then the second time, wasn't that long ago, I he played. Uh, it was the first time I saw him with The Promise of the Real it was incredible and I, it blew my mind like they back him up so good and i managed to get backstage because because i got on the list by like his day-to-day manager yeah frank okay because frank he manages hope sandoval from uh-huh. the mazzy star and i they got me to sing with the, with her on a yeah. song so anyway that was my connect but i still had to like i still had to like reach out and see if it would happen and it happened that he got me on the list and yeah. then he He's like, oh, I love to meet or something. I was like, oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, so, but then when it did finally happen, I, he just said hello for a minute after the show, and the show blew my mind. For, it was incredible. Like they played down by the river for thirty minutes, and it was just unreal. Yeah. He, he would like, he would start, he would start like as if he's going to the last verse after Space Jam after Space Jam, and he would just come in and be like, be on my side. Wow! And then, and then he wouldn't sing the rest of it. You yeah, know, he'd yeah. just go into space again. He's yeah. just fucking with your mind. Yeah. But anyway, so finally get back there, and Frank is thank thank God for Frank. What a great guy! But still, I don't know him that well. He just, yeah. He's like, all right, well, thank you. It's great to meet you. Thank you for singing with Hope. Well, we have a quick out. We have to leave, but it was nice to meet you. So, of course, my heart sinks. Yeah. I thought I was like, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna meet Neil and blah blah blah. Um. And I'm with my wife, Suzanne, and, uh, and th- then we get back there, and I don't know, he just, he's sitting there, so I finally get, Frank says, oh, he meets, he introduces me to the young guys, the Nelson guys that back yeah, him up, sure. and, and, um... Willie's kids. Yeah, Willie's kids. Yeah. So, so Neil is finally there, but nobody ever troubles Neil with anything, you know, so Suzanne just had to basically nudge me she's like just say something to yeah. him just say hi yeah and i was like how oh, neil uh i've seen you, i've seen you a million times I'm, I'm friends with gary uh i i gotta say tonight was the best by far uh down by the river was it was like you were in outer space but underground at the same time and, and he smiled at first and then he was like he just looked at me he's like oh yeah we can go in outer space whenever we want <laughs> I actually told that show, told that on the best show when it happened because Tom Sharpling was there. Yeah. So we summed it up. But anyway, and then yeah, and then Suzanne was like, "Ask, get a picture. Ask for a picture." And I didn't want to because I was like, I heard he doesn't do pictures. And I was like, oh, "Can I get a picture?" He's like, "Sure." Oh, <laughs> I got a picture. But anyway, so then I met him a few times since then. I'm always like, it's always be- behind the stage. I'm always drunk. I always, and I get like a little cynical because I'm always saying the same thing. I'm like, ah, oh, Kurt, I met before uh, friends, Gary. Yeah. I always want to tell him about this band. You ever see this band, the Sadies? No. They're an incredible live band. They're a, they're legends. Yeah. They're friends with Neil. Like, uh, the, they're two brothers. They shred. You got to see them live. They're like country infused rock, psychedelic yeah. rock. And um, so I always mean to tell Neil because I know he likes to say this. I'm always like I mean to say I'm friends with the Sadies, but I always forget. But then the last time we we opened for Neil, um, just recently in Quebec, like not a couple weeks ago even. Oh yeah. And it was like for this big festival, so there's like ni- ninety thousand people there. It's just us and Neil. And uh, oh, that must have been great. It was great. I I definitely clammed up. Yeah. On stage. Yeah, he clammed up. I yeah. never played for a crowd that big. Like I intro, I started with that song Wheelhouse, and yeah. I, um, which is a favorite song. But uh, I, I just like flubbed one of the notes, and then I put me in. I lost it, you know. I t- but anyway, so Neil, he fucked again, you up for the whole set. Uh, most of it. Yeah. So I just stood there. Oh. I mean, I played, but I stood there. But anyway, um, Neil, they played an amazing set as usual, and and we got to watch it from side. <laughs> 
and then we were on the one side of the stage and uh and the other side of the stage is where they would get on and off and, yes. I, and so during the encore and i i mean i know a lot of the guys now i know the promise of the real guys they i play with them at, at willie's ranch so i'm buddies a, a little bit with plenty of them but not you know not neil but so anyway they go off for the encore and they're all passing around this joint yeah and then i i ran with my wife and we we got the joint and we started smoking it so we're like and neil neil hit it but uh <laughs> it, so we're smoking that joint and then finally the same thing sort of happens they all come off the stage i'm hugging like lucas and everybody and they're like great show but but neil has this orb around him you're like you can't you, yeah you know yeah can't can't, get like it. uh daryl han is there with a giant lollipop like hugging <laughs> neil everybody's like around neil's and so they're going down the exit in the back like a zigzag you know yeah and every he gets a little further away every time and finally because we're like a little stoned i'm like well i I just won't talk to him you know because and then and then she's like well just just i was like i just wanted to give him this sadie cd and then and then she's like well just jump down and give it to him because it's the last level we were like on this level and they're down there right. before he gets in the on the bus so then i jumped down and i was like hey neil I was like, hey, Neil, you hear the new Sadie's? And I knew he knew him, but the way I did it, because we were stoned, it looked like this dude came out of nowhere. <laughs> yes. And it was like Elliot Roberts literally held up his elbow like like to block me. Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, like, hey, what? I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so, I don't know. That, yeah. did he, did he, did <laughs> and then I gave him the CD, and then, I don't know. That, yeah. That's basically the story. Was he into it? Or you don't well, know? He, he, he was looking at it. They're his friends, but like everybody was blocked they didn't i just came out of nowhere i understand but even i talked to elliot he's obviously a legend too and i was like he elliot, elliot out. i was like elliot but i didn't even see that he blocked me with his arm but suzanne you, watched she was all uh, up on the top level laughing yeah like la we were, you, were you, stoned you, on their weed and they're just laughing and he this old dude's like holding up their elbow like they're gonna block me <laughs> and then all of a sudden elliot was like oh he's like he looked all confused because then when we realized it was me, he's like, "Oh, Kurt, what?" The and then and he's like, "Just give it to me. He's not going to listen to it anyway, or something like that." Uh, which is not true because yeah. he didn't know it was the Sadies. But then I said to Elliot, "I was like, Elliot, I, I just, I, I'm Kurt. I opened, I, I just wanted to." And he's like, "The Sadies, I know." <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. he's like, he, he just, we just didn't know who you were. Right, we did, right. We, he just, he didn't know who you were. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's kind of the always sort of. It, maybe it's not this the thing. Maybe most people just talk to somebody like a normal person. It's always awkward, but it's always awkward, especially when you have reverence for somebody. Oh it's my just, god, the, the, I think they're all. It's such an honor to have been able to get near and see so many shows, and and I just feel like. They're like, oh, Kurt, you know, yeah, we know Kurt, he's a good kid, but you gotta watch him. <laughs> he might steal your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> He'll jump out of nowhere and scare you. <laughs> you gotta watch him. <laughs> he's trying to he's what trying he? to talk to Neil. <laughs> here he comes again, the kid's here. Yeah. Well, even when even like when I talk to McCartney, like you get into the zone with it and you have the moment, but then when it's over, you're like, I'm just like one of those guys. You know, I, I'm one of those Wait, guys. But you're that, not. That's the thing, right? But you're also not. Like, like you like, want I'm, him to know. You want them to know. You want them to know. How many people have opened for Neil Young? Like, you know, from the beginning of time. You yeah. know, like, you, you know, like, in my mind, it's like, I'm another guy who interviewed McCartney. Was it amazing for me? Am I grateful? Yes. Is it a different format? Yes. Is what I do different than other people? Sure. But in his life, you know what yeah. I mean? You, like, I don't know. What, you, you want to make an impression, but who knows if you do, really? So he's a well. That's why he's so great. Is because he uh, who Neil? Yeah, he won't let. Yeah, well, yeah. Paul McCartney's great too, obviously. Yeah. But I, I like I'm, I'm just like Neil. He'll he just won't be bothered. He'll just focus on his thing, and it's, it's nothing personal. And in, in fact, one day, no, he'll exactly. Just talk. Yeah, I mean, he was real cool on your show. I like. Yeah, I like once that show. once I once I sort of got through the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. You know, he was really cool. Yeah. But like he, he definitely tests people, and he definitely is gonna, you know, make you work for it for a minute. Oh. <laughs> but, but he's like an amazing artist. So wait, let's talk about this new record before we we space it out.